All right. I think we're live now. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. So, you know what I mean? What happened now? They ask a question. Is this what they do? No. So now what happens? Yeah. Uh, let's see. We're going to move that back. I don't know why it's taking so long. So just explain. So the industry, the way we do it is a pickup truck uh, and trailer. So combined gross weight um, is under 26,000 pounds. And we're talking about Texas. A lot of the guys are saying that you still need a US DOT number because you're a four hire vehicle and it's over 10,000 pounds. So if you can just explain real quick the difference between um, the 10,000 pounds no, it, interest rate and interest rate. You know, the, the regulations say for because the, for, you, for, you, for BDOT needed to be a, uh, a commercial motor vehicle, mm -hmm. right? This means the 26,000 pounds is vehicles, the 26,000 26, pounds plus they are commercial motor vehicles. If they are commercial motor vehicles, they're regulated by DOT. Right. DOT don't regulate uh, sedans because they're not commercial. They don't, deal, they don't regulate vans because they're not commercial. But the question he did, it, I, I can't check it. This because of, uh, the regulations say that. And they state if you more than 10,000 pounds for an interstate commerce, you need to have a DOT number. Right. So if we are under 26,000 pounds and we stay only in Texas. You don't need a DOT number. We do not need a no. US DOT number or a TX it, number. Yeah, the Texas, they call the cab car, right? It's the same stuff. Uh, you only add to cab car commercial motor vehicles. This means your cab car, if you need a cab car, like like your company, mm -hmm. you you have vehicles in your cab car, right? Right. But why? Because they are commercial. If they are commercial, you need to be a DOT number. <laughs> so wait, now you're saying we do need a DOT number? No, in your case, because, uh -huh. but a, a, a truck is a not truck commercial. A truck a trailer, if, if I'm charging a customer money, is that considered commercial? No, because commercial is the weight to the vehicle. This is a commercial. That's what makes it commercial. Exactly. Is the weight, is yeah. the requirements of... Yeah, to, the, to this state. If the vehicle is more than 26,000 pounds, or they are more than, than 16 with the driver, you know, a van 15 passengers. passenger? Passengers, yeah. A van 15 passengers, 14 plus the driver, is not commercial. Right. But a van 17, it is commercial. And it doesn't matter the number of passengers in the van, it matters what the van is rated to carry. Is that exactly. Right? Okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, like a, same thing with a dumpster, right? So, if I have a dumpster that's rated to carry 16,000 pounds, okay. or let's say 18,000 pounds, and my truck is rated to carry 10,000, or my truck is rated at 10,000, that makes it 28,000 combined. Then that means I would need a DOT number, right? Because you're going to be regular as a commercial motor vehicle. Even if I'm only pulling a maximum, I don't pull that much weight. Even if I don't, you don't going to pass the 26. You mean? Uh huh. But I think it's not. Is is I don't think it's that. Is the gross weight that's is 26. Big. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you know everything. This I can check with him. For, yeah. For to make sure, because they have some laws about the higher, but. In, in my mind, I, th I believe if you don't, if you're not regulated by the numbers, they you know 26 pounds, 26 pounds, more than 15, da, da, da. they have, I can send it to you the regulations. The little right. paper I have over there, very short, you can see. They, you don't need to have a, why, why do you think they need to have a DOT? You know because why? they're being told by other people from other states, because other states, each state, it's different. It's different, okay, right? I so other states, people are saying what they need, and, and, and a lot of people are confused because people that are watching on YouTube are from all over the country. So yeah. the difference between the U.S. DOT and their state DOT, their state might be require something more than what U.S. DOT does, right? Yeah, for sure in Texas, you don't need if you're less than 26. Right. For sure. Now let's say we were on the border from here in Oklahoma, and I service both states. If I service, I don't know, Oklahoma City and Frisco I don't know and I went back and forth every day yeah 
then I'm what? <laughs> interstate. Then I'm in tour state. Yeah, you cross the state lines. Okay. Yeah. So if I go, let's say one time. Doesn't matter. If I go to Louisiana mm-hmm. and do hurricane uh, relief. Well, hurricane, hurricane relief is emergency. Okay. And we have a lot of breakdowns in emergency. Okay. They, so they avoid a lot of stuff. And they avoid hours of service in the in emergency. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This means it, it should be more we look in if it's, what is the situation? But maybe you're gonna have because they're gonna need the people to go there work. This means they can avoid some kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, if you cross one time the state line, you already in. Yeah, you could be. In, you're gonna be in the ten thousand pounds. So I've got a guy who asked me, and I don't know his name. Let me uh, let me look him up real quick. He asked me on our Facebook group. He says. Um, that he's coming, he's from, I believe, Louis, uh, Oklahoma, or from some other state, and he's coming here to pick up a trailer. He bought a trailer here, and he's picking it up and then driving it back home. Since he's crossing state lines, but he's only doing it no, if you come for in, transport. If it's a dealer, kind of dealer, right? From a dealership, The sure. dealer to the state, no, it's not. It's a, he's not working. He just came here to pick him up the bus. Okay, so no. he will not need... No. Okay. If after he... He has his rake in the city there. He just needs to work in the state of Oklahoma. The Oklahoma, yeah, okay. If it, he, he, I'm yeah, gonna, I understand what you mean. Let me mean. get my phone real quick because I got questions on it. I understand what you mean. You just, no, no. In this case, you don't need to. So what's the difference between the MC number and the US DOT number? Is there okay. a difference? Well, now, now they don't have a difference anymore because okay. they combine. Before... Before you have a DOT number, MEC, MEC was authority. What is authority? Okay, authority is what you can do. You have the authority to, to passenger authority. You can, you can uh, drive passengers. The same the trucks, they can drive cargo. No property and passengers. It's just a, because you have your DOT number. You remember, you make your DOT number. Okay, easy, right? Mm-hmm. You can do that. But... For you have the authority, you need to send the insurance information and, send, and they give it. This means the authorization your company has to drive people, passengers, or trucks if you're a truck, cargo. Okay. Yeah. Now, and you have two different address, to, now they make one, just one. You just have one number. By the way, they, 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 do you remember you have a, a, a password that DOT send to you? For you go to some documentations, right? Okay, you need to ask for a new one. If you didn't, they just send by the computer because all these old passwords, then they they're not good anymore. For US DOT. For both. Okay. Yeah, because you have a one for M- MSC, one for the authority, one for DOT. Right. And now they put everything together with one password. And you log in through to MMCCCS. Yeah. No, MCCCS is the cab card. Cap card. Yeah, cap That's card is Texas. different. Yeah. Okay. Cap card is is look like a Texas DOT for right. make more simple. Right. Yeah. Okay. It, this is what they call. Okay. Um yeah, the difference is it is MC is the authority. What you gonna do? Passengers or uh, property. But you don't have that anymore. No, you still have the authority. You don't have a it, they fuse the DOT and the MEC together with okay. only one password and one. Uh, so logic. if somebody needs a DOT, they go through. Oh, they the need to go through. Yeah, they okay. do. You still need your authority. Okay. But they don't. I don't know if you. Sometimes you see in the vehicles, right? DOT number, MEC number. Right. Yeah. A lot of people think MEC was a motor coach. No, they don't have nothing to do. It's just the authority, but they kind of combine. And just one number, and this number is the DOT number. So that goes to my next question, because some vehicles you see US DOT, and then you see a TX DOT, but there's no text dot no more, right? There's no text dot numbers. It's just US DOT, and then Texas requires. Oh, you. How does that work? No, you. Because my car is only my limos only have US DOT numbers. Yeah, but DOT numbers is for all the country, no? right? But the cab cars or DOT this. This big number you input over there. This is a, your your Texas DOT number. Okay, so but so but my my buses say US DOT. Yeah, you because you are on. But the I'm dock. not inter, interstate. I stay in Texas. Exactly. 
Exactly. This is so confusing. It, it is <laughs> because you still need to have your cab card. Oh, yes. Because you can have, you, no, you have your DOT number. Right. You have your authority, you have your MC. Right. Right, because you're your passengers. Right. Right. And you still have the cab card for this thing. So, so my, my suggestion was for, I mean, we have, there's like 1,400, or I think there's like 13, 1,400 people on our channel. And, and about six or 700 people on their Facebook group. My suggestion has always been, if you don't need the DOT, don't go get it. Oh yeah, for At, sure. I mean, it's, it's trouble. It's, it's a lot of headache, right? It's inspection, it's fines, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, random drug test program, it's, it's a company. It's a lot of money. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot if, of you're, money. if you're just gonna do your house there and there with the limited, you no. Know, don't explode the limited to be a commercial motor vehicle, you don't need it to. So one of the questions that also came up was, um, one of the requirements in, 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 the, in, the, in the US DOT's website, FMCSA's website, says, okay, it says the weight, and then it says um, hazardous number. materials, which we don't haul any yeah, hazardous no. materials, well, and then the other thing is household goods. Well, hmm. it's a property. Like that chair. Yeah. From it's point A to point B, maybe. Like movers, hmm. is the way I looked at it. Like a like a moving company, but if I'm taking your trash, if it's your garbage, I leave. So the business is we leave the dumpster at your house. You fill up the dumpster with all the extra trash, something that your 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 garbage company won't take, and then we take the pick up the dumpster and take it to the dump. That's what we do. So, okay. is your trash considered household goods? I don't think so. No. No, I don't think so. But okay. we. I can ask him we'll, as well. We'll double check on yeah, that. I think now I need to kind of jump on the, on the, I really know. Like one thing I did some time ago for a friend of mine, he started moving cars. Mm -hmm. And he has a truck and a, I don't know what you call this, a trailer in the, and you can put two cars. Okay. You just have to, and he was doing all the state of Texas, no duty, no, no anything. No, no duty. If no. it's under the weight, yeah. you don't need to do exactly. the number. Exactly. But if it goes to Oklahoma and delivers oh, the car. Yeah. yeah. He was then, going to pick him up. Usually, uh, what he's doing was Houston. Okay. He's going to Hill to Houston, bring it to cars, and sometimes you have a dealership here. They want to send some cars to Houston. He was making a good money. Sure. And with to know all the involvements we have. Just reading a couple comments here. So, mm -hmm. what's going on, guys? What's up, E Money? That's, my, that's Elijah, my son. Yeah. He's on there. <laughs> um, just saying, appreciate it. Same thing as Alabama requirements. Okay. So going back to the, there's, is there, is there also, do you know what the length is? Is there a length requirement, minimum, maximum? I don't know. Okay. But I, don't I know, know some I states have a yeah, length, but maximum, when you, but, but when you, but when you, oh, maybe, but you know, when you define, you know, it, it's very simple. If you don't have a, a commercial motor vehicle, you don't need the nursing for the tax. Okay. Because they only control federals. Long time ago, why the federals start to com the start to looking for the limousines? You remember, you need to put your, your DOT number. You know why? Because for the interstate, you, when you go to the airport, pick up somebody from Nova York, New York, when he comes to Texas, you're doing an interstate commerce. And one, one, one regulation you have uh, is more than eight passengers. Right. In an interstate commerce. This one, they start to, 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 to do that. But sedans, sedans go to the airport all the time. Right. They have a DOT. They do? No. No, mm -hmm. no, that's what I said, they no, do. No, yeah, they don't have it. Right, because they don't have more than eight passengers. You know, in the van, the 15 passengers, they are commercial motor, they are commercial? No, right? If 15 they have passengers. Less than, yeah, no. Okay, no. You need to have a CDL for drive? No. No. Do you need a, a DOT car? No. Yes. What? <laughs> For 15 passengers? Yes. 14 passengers? Doing an interstate commerce. Interstate. Okay, so going yes. to the airport. Yes. So, you but the car needs a DOT number too then? No. Wow, well, what the heck? You know, no? I just find out this when I talk to the people from Houston, to the boss, and I say, hey, if you drive a van, you don't need to be a CDL. But a limo does need a DOT number. That's what I've been told. That it, If the limo goes and picks up at the airport. Okay, but the limo is more than eight. Can be more than eight, I think. I don't yeah, know. well, but so is the 15 passenger van. But 15 passengers van don't go. It was a good question. 
Because the vans I have there, they go to the airport in Houston, they don't need the CDL to drive. Right, no, you don't need the CDL to okay. drive. Okay, but if they don't need the CDL to drive, why they need a DOT car? Because they're interstate. You don't need a CDL to go interstate. But you need the car. Right. Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard. Interesting. Yeah. We're going off on a tangent now, guys. That's a that's a different business, but um, okay. So yeah, one last time, them. one last time. You just said commerce, and I think I want to make it real clear that he's saying that a commercial. It's not a just because we're for hire and we take money. It doesn't classify it per federal regulations mm -hmm. as a commercial vehicle, even though you're driving commercially, technically under the. Under the word commercial, people think that because you pay me to do something, I'm a commercial vehicle now. But their their definition of a commercial vehicle is the definition that it says on the FMCSA's website, yeah. right? Which is the twenty six thousand pounds, which is the 15, interstate. No more than fifteen. No more than whatever. fifteen passengers and going they have, interstate. Yeah, they have and the weight as well. And the weight, weight twenty six thousand pounds. Yeah. Right. They Combined. Have a, they have a three: is the weight of the vehicle, the number of the passengers. I think it was length. No, I don't think it's length, Josh. Because I know there's some trailers that can, no, can't be but that long. I, I can't do that. I can tomorrow I send this to you, and okay. you can put it on the website. It's very simple yeah. to figure out who needs the DOT or who is not. Well, right on FMCSA's website is a box that you can click that says, do I need a DOT number? And it asks you, yes or no questions. Yes, do you cross state lines or no? And if you click no, then it goes to the next question. Are you over 26,000 pounds? Yes or no? And if you don't go to the next question, and then it'll tell you, you do not need a DOT number. It's that simple. Okay. Or you, if it says you, you do need a DOT your, number. Your DOT, you do, you do you need a DOT For number? the dumpsters, no. 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 That's what, but the biggest question was the goods. That was the only question, you know, we definitely don't take hazardous materials. We don't take, um, um, I don't know what the stuff was, but uh, like methane, methane and gases. We don't take any of that stuff. No hazard. Uh, no hazard. Okay. Um, but the biggest question was the, the, the goods. Um, and then the, so the, so the funny thing is we're talking about commercial vehicles. I got one last question. I'll let you go. No, don't worry. I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. But the commercial vehicles, just because USDOT mm -hmm. says it may not be a commercial vehicle or classified as commercial vehicle because it doesn't make the weight requirements, does not mean that's the insurance requirements. If I'm driving a truck commercially and under my business... More. It should be a commercial insurance policy, right? Not just my regular insurance. Or is that not your specialty? No, it's not. But, in, you know, like a, like a Uber. Mm -hmm. Like Uber. Okay. It, they have some companies like a Progressive. Mm -hmm. They accept it. They give you a, a, a insurance for a guy that works for Uber. I think it's more, right? They right. More. Okay. Now, I believe if you're going to put in your truck... I don't think you need to have a commercial. Ooh, that's a big one. I don't think. I think why you why you think you need? You you're driving your truck. Uh, I mean, you drive your truck with a with the trash. Yeah, under a company name. Under a business name. So okay, for liability if issues, if I get in an accident, they can come after me, and not just the company. You know what we're gonna do, Josh. You put in an email for me the questions you have, okay. and I send it to, to Hanson. Okay. And he. And who are you going to send it to? Let's make it so that they know. Not not who, but like what is the. No, he's a he's a friend of mine. He's a JJ Keller. He's he's a guy. He he's the one that do the books for JJ Keller. Okay, and JJ Keller is. JJ Keller is the, the most is the biggest company in the regulations of the United States. One of you the know? biggest regulations. If you wanna if you wanna buy. Uh, Whatever you want to buy as a regulation, compliance and stuff like that, JJ can just put it there in the Google. Right. JJ can, they have everything. I've got a big book from them over there. Yeah. And the, and the Hanson, Jensen Hanson is the, his name. He's the guy, he's the editor to all this stuff. The guy is something. Okay. And he helped me a lot of times. And but like I say, you know, it's not my deal with this kind of stuff, but you need to make sure. Right. I'm thinking, okay, if you have a, a big truck with a big dumpster, if you hit somebody, and if you don't have a, a good insurance, but when you ask if it's regulated, right? Right, right, if right. You need it's to different. Have. I guess it's different because if I got in an accident, that's more of a like um, like a insurance question. If I got in an accident and I'm I'm using my vehicle that the insurance thinks is a personal vehicle, 
commercially or as a business, then they may cover it and then just drop me right away, or they may not cover. It. Who knows what? But yeah. I think that's between. Yeah, yeah I man. think it's dangerous. But like too. I say, you send it to me, and I send it to Josh. It's like a limo company without commercial insurance. A lot of guys that fly under the radar that limo drive case. illegally, yeah, they are registering a limo as a car, and they don't let the insurance company know that it's a limousine. And they gave them the VIN number, and because of the VIN number, it pulls up as a 2015 Lincoln MKS or something like that instead of a limo. And they're using personal insurance for Because limousine business. is a car. It's not a car. It's just a stretch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if the insurance company doesn't know they that, they're going to pull it by the VIN number. And, and, and they're operating, honestly. Yeah. The only thing you're going to make complicated for you guys is for each state, you need to know what is the regulation for state. your people. Right. This means here... Probably you, you can we can make some kind of about Oklahoma, New Mexico, no, the ones close to here. Mm -hmm. Because if you go to California, my friend, oh my. Yeah, you can't do anything. No, there. no, no. Yeah. Everything uh, causes cancer in California. Right yeah, here. everything is everything is expensive. Question: You need to collect sales tax. So we we're not going to talk about sales. So the uh, I don't know much about sales tread tax. lightly services uh, sales tax. I'll make another video on that, or I'll I'll answer that in the Facebook group. I found the information on that um, in Texas, but again, each state's different. Uh, depends partly on your business structure as to your insurance. Also depends on your insurance company. Uh, I agree with that, handyman. Um, if your insurance company doesn't know that you're you're doing um, this as a business or using the vehicle that they're insuring as using the vehicle that they're insuring for a business and you get in an accident or it, it, it definitely wouldn't cover if somebody falls off the dumpster and hits their yeah. head or something like that. Well, that's, yeah. that's general liability. That's yeah. a whole different policy. So, that's true. Uh, let me see if there's any more questions and then uh, I'll let you go. Man. I really appreciate you doing this. Oh, uh, come on, man. So well, tell them a little bit about you. Like what's your experience and stuff like that in the the in industry. The well, industry. I work for a motor coach company. I worked for a limousine company before as a driver, and I started working in 2012 as a as a safety manager for a, a motor coach company. And uh, you know, I'm doing that from there, and then, you know, it's, <laughs> it's the way it is. And uh, limousine was a good place for work before, till the DOT start to yeah to give you all those regulations. This means. Well, that's it, man. I have a, all the certifications you need to have, and uh, you know what? I, I go to the companies and I help them to do a, a pre inspections and a pre audit. So last time you were here, you were wearing a, a jacket with all kinds of oh yeah, patches yeah. I have a thirty five certifications. Thirty five certifications, yeah. <laughs> all in um, all in transportation. Safety. Yeah, safety and uh, all kinds. Of, yeah. I don't use my for, for a long time. I don't use my. You haven't worn a jacket all the time. That was a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's the COVID. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I'm work for for and I'm very organized guy. This means uh, I, I do the right thing. I I try to do the right thing, and uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll but, attach to this video the last video where I posted to DOT or not to DOT part two. It'll show you. I did a quick little picture of the books that you made me, which were awesome. Oh, and I'm a Brazilian too. This means this is a plus. Yeah, it's a plus. Yeah, it's a plus. I'm from Brazil. There you go. <laughs> so Tim Cox, I answered his question. He's the one who asked about traveling, coming here to pick up the trailer. Yeah, this I don't think you're gonna have any problem. So what if a trooper from Scott Sullivan? What if a trooper is incorrect about the laws and shuts you down on the spot? Is there anything that you could do? Let's say they let's say they think that it's, it's ten thousand pounds and they shut you down, which I don't know. I think they would well, they verify. Go, they're gonna give you a ticket, right? Uh -huh. And you're gonna and you go to the court. They're gonna it. fight. Yeah. yeah, with the regulations and all kind of stuff. Hire me and or a lot of <laughs> we'll come out there and fly out there and, and help you. He out. talk more than me. He's better than that. <laughs> no, it, you know a lot of times they stop a, whatever they stop and they give you the ticket and after that I have a big accident in in Houston, something like three weeks ago. And the cop gave the, 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 the guy because it was over the speed. Mm. And I proved in the GPS that the guy never was more than 40. Really? Yeah, this means. Yeah. So the cop had no idea. The cop said he was over the speed limit and he yeah. gave him a ticket. And then you saw on the GPS that he never. And you, uh, the, the driver went to the, the, the court and I sent all the paperwork and all the data for this stuff. Showed the judge and he just dismissed. Just released it. Yeah. So the, and I, that was a, uh, earlier in another video I brought up. 
What's the time limit if you get in an accident? You have to have a post. If you have a DOT and a CDL, and you you're in the drug policy program, you have a certain amount of time after an accident where you have to go get a drug test, right? Oh, oh, you want me to talk about that? You sure? Why not? Okay. DOT recordable accidents. They we call hearse, nurse, and toll. Hearse, somebody died. Nurse, somebody went to the hospital from the scene or told some some vehicle was stolen. These three, they are recordable accidents. This means they're gonna be in your book if mm -hmm. you have a company. Now, do you need it to do a drug test after that? Well, if it's fatality, yes. And you have, DOT asks for two hours after the accident, never happened. Because, you know, sometimes the, the, the driver go to the hospital. Right. But no more than eight, for alcohol, no more than 32 for drugs. Mm. This means you can justify it. But if somebody went to the hospital or the car was stolen, but your driver don't have a citation, they are not cited for the police, you don't need to buy the regulations to do the DOT really? drug test. I didn't know that. And my people, if you involve people, I ask the driver to do why? Because it's gonna come a suit. Mm -hmm. And when you are with the lawyers, they, the first thing they're gonna ask, do you have a drug test? I can tell the guy, hey man, the regulation, my driver don't have a citation. Why are you gonna have a, I don't need to do, but I always do so I protect it. Interesting. It, and uh, you know, it's, there, it's, it's bad stuff because you know, sometimes the, 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 another guy hit your, your vehicle, your, your bus, whatever, and uh, it broke the wheel, the tires, whatever, they cannot move, nothing happened. But if they move, it is a DOT recordable. It's because gonna it's be tovo. in your record. Because <laughs> it's tovo. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. And different the FTA, but well, FTA is transport to the public. You know, the cheese and the, 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 the public transportation, no yeah. motor code. FTA, Federal, uh, Federal Transportation Authority, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. If you have a DOT recordable, is a drug test for the drug, drug mm -hmm. and an alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these are people don't know much about that. And uh, and another thing, oh Lord, but that's okay. I send my driver. No, no. If you send a driver, if it's not recordable, it's not federal. You send the guy to do a DOT recordable. When the DOT come in and check it, it's gonna be a violation on you. You cannot use the federal to do. You can send your driver to do a no DOT, that's okay. Mm. By the way, no DOT, they have a more <laughs> pinos, uh, I think it's the last one I saw was 25. 25 what? Pinos, different drugs, they check it. Oh. And the no DOT, DOT 7. Wow. Only. Yeah. Wow. What happens if a truck gets pulled over and they're overweight and they don't have DOT? Like I say, I'm not, I'm Big not, uh, the, uh, I'm not but, but I mean, I believe that we will put the, the truck out of service. I mean, you're going to stop right there. Yeah, I think it's going to be a big yeah. ticket. Yeah. Overweight. We don't have overweight in the bus. This means, you know. It never gets overweight. Yeah, yeah. because you have a 50 passer, that's it what you're going to put. Well, you can if you're crazy, put the people on there. But I think, man, if it, oh man, I, I don't want to be this driver. It's going to be a big ticket. Big ticket, yeah. Weight. Yeah. I know when the, the truck says, I have a, my, my son-in-law, he's a, a truck driver. And uh, sometimes when they go, the, they go to the, you know, the, this, this, what the scales, mm -hmm. if they have more, they need to stop there. Somebody need to come from the company he worked, take it off, and after that they go. Unload it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know the ticket, I believe in the ticket as well. Okay. Man, I kind of like this kind of stuff. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Look, you talk to. Yeah. And we talk to a lot of people. We got some more people here. Hold on. Oh, a couple more questions. Nice. Mine lets me. So, Handyman lets him says his insurance lets him list his business. Twenty six thousand one pounds over need CDL. Ten thousand pounds need a DOT number in the state of Wisconsin. I don't know about the state of Wisconsin. Although I was from there, I don't know. I didn't do it. <laughs> what most people don't realize, if you hook a one-ton dually with a gross vehicle weight rating of 13,000 pounds behind a dump trailer or roll-off with a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,000 pounds, you're 20, yeah, you're 27,000 pounds or over. Yeah, so it, if, you, if you hook up a big truck, a dually that weighs, what do you say, 14, 13,000 pounds to a trailer that could take up to 14,000 pounds, 
We have more than 26. You're more than 26. Yeah. So yes, you absolutely oh, yeah. need these. Yeah. So my Dodge Ram 2500 outside that weighs 9,000 pounds, I think 9,500, and I hook it up to a 14,000 pound trailer that puts me at 23,000, 24,000 pounds. I do not no, need a DOT. You, yeah. The problem is, Josh, well, of course, you need to be an asshole guy to do that. But I mean, if the government is going to say, hey, with all this stuff you have here, you have more than 26. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. How are we going to prove that? They have the scales, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen them. I mean, they haven't done it to me, luckily, but I've oh, seen them. Oh, you mean the cops have a scale? Yeah, I've seen the, the, the DOT officer over at um, Roadrunner. Uh, it wasn't a Roadrunner bus. It was like they pulled a, 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 a big concrete truck over in their parking lot, though, and they made the guy, he had these, like, big plates, and he put them in front of the wheels, and he made the truck roll over the plates. Really? And weighed them right there on the scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those are Man, I a, maybe I'm going to need to specialize more in that. But do that. Do the question they were ask the more, the ones questions. they need more. Yeah. Because Jess is good because he just don't give the answer. Mm. They give the regulations. Yes. This is the most important. That's what I want to see. Yeah, they always yeah. say to me, to say, Lauro, I can explain to you here, but if somebody asks you, they want to ask GOG special. The last inspection I have, I don't remember was, and the guy asking me, and I say, man, you know what? This guy's not right. But mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing. And the night when I got home, I sent an email. And he called me. He lived in this house, by the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, he called me and I said, no, no, this guy's wrong. I said, oh, don't worry about it. tomorrow morning when you open your email, I sent you. Man, he sent me. I just gave it to the guy. Yeah. I said, hey. And he looked. Okay, I'm going to look in there. Well, that goes back to the question that somebody asked earlier. What if the cop's wrong? And at the end of the day, it's just like sports. I mean, I, my kids play soccer, all of them. You can't not argue with a referee exactly. during the game. Yeah. So if sure. the cops were on, the cops were wrong, and it, and it very likely be. A lot of cops don't know. I mean, even even you, we have threw you off a couple times, well, once or twice here, with some questions because there's just so many rules and regulations, yeah. right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, if your state says it's 26,000 pounds, then my suggestion would be print that out, print out the, the statute or the regulation, keep it in your truck. Exactly. If a cop pulls you over and he still argues with you, fine. Take the ticket, see you in court, fight it in court, you have the paperwork, and you're done. No, there's no point in arguing you know with a cop on the scene. what we can do, Josh? We can do that. Why we don't do Let me see if I can do that. Uh, you know, a little stuff for you, and you have, and all the people they work with that, they can have a little book, like I have in my bus book. I have, you look, you have in your car. You have, yeah. You know, everybody, and have the regulations over there. For every single state. In, 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 if you're going to do interest, yeah, okay, I got it, because you say maybe the guy just worked in Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, it's something you can have it. It's not going to be difficult because it's a regulation. But we needed to know what is the regulation about. You know, if you talk about country, it's a 10,000 pound. You're going to be, if you cross. Cross state lines. Uh, but if you're going to stay on your state, well, now you're going to need the help looking on your state. A lot of people just work in the state, right? Mm -hmm. no, this yeah. business. Yeah, a lot of people. There's well, a lot you, of bigger companies. You just do Dallas, right? Like a Metroplex? I only do Dallas County and Ellis County. I don't want to go any further. So just Dallas and Ellis County. So I see right Yeah, here. man, but for you to do this kind of stuff, uh, because you, you, you take your trash, the, uh, garbage to their homes, right? If no, you, no, yeah, from their homes. Yeah, but if you cross it, why you think about like a... Uh, you don't go to Oklahoma to pick them up a trash. No. I mean, something bigger, right? Yeah. I mean, well, if it's bigger, you need a bigger equipment. Right. Bigger equipment, you're going to need it. Yeah. Big company. I'm not looking at doing No, no, we don't want to do it. So. Okay. Well, okay. Well, yeah, guys, yeah. we're done. Thank you very much, Lotto. Oh, we pleasure. appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to end, uh, end the video, guys. Hopefully, this goes live or this goes onto the YouTube page. I've never done this before on live. So, here we go. We'll see you guys on the next video. Your stream was done, but we need no longer be, yes, and...